guys, Mr. Octagon all here, and we got the second episode of our Cleveland Browns franchise. Now, this episode is opening game, and we are going to be in Philadelphia taking on the Eagles. And if I could choose one game to win, which who knows how many games we're going to win, probably not many, I would choose this game, and the reason being is we have their first round pick, and we might have more pick. So let's get straight into this. <laughs> We are in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for opening day football against the, as the Eagles will be versing the Cleveland Browns. The Browns and the Eagles made a very good trade in the offseason, giving the Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz. Giving out a second pick, which was Carson Wentz. The Browns are by RJ Freight and Company. They made some trades in the last episode, but now it's time for opening day football. As the Browns will get the ball first. And the NFL season starts off with Taylor Gabriel returning his kick to um, pass the 25 to the 29. Second and six for the Browns. RG3. Fine for Sean Higgins. That's his first career catch in the first first down this season for Cleveland. The very next play, Robert Griffin the third. Finds a wide open Corey Coleman for his first catch. And Colvin gets past the 20 to the 18. And the play right after that one. Griffin the third. Looking for Gary Porter to the end zone. But it's intercepted by the new free agency signing from the Rams. Rodney McLeod Jr. The Browns had something going until McLeod was able to snap that pick on an overthrown pass intended for Gary Barnage. And the Eagles will now get the ball on the 20. Second and 16 for the Eagles. This Browns defense has been great so far. But Darren Sproles gets a first down and more. There goes Darren Sproles on the way to the 41. Just as things couldn't get any better for this Browns defense. He got terrible. A big rush for the small guy from Kansas State, Darren Sproles. Second and five for the Browns. RG3 looking for a short Higgins and this guy is the new Kelvin Jackson! Rashard Higgins did it in all of practice and now he's doing it here! 28 yards for the rookie from Colorado State! Second and goal number one, RG3! Looking for Ricardo Lewis and he gets his first career reception and his first career touchdown! The fourth round pick from Auburn, Ricardo Lewis and the Browns strike first here! On a fine Sunday afternoon. Second and goal on the three after two pass interference calls on the Eagles. And David Johnson gets the touchdown. And it's now 12 0 Browns. As they should go for two after Travis Coons missed the extra point on the last drive. The Browns are going for two. RG3 over to David Johnson and he is not in. He just missed it. I thought he was in, but apparently the refs think differently as it's 12 0 after the missed two point conversion. A long field goal for the Eagle. The kick is up and it is good! And it's now 12 to 3 Browns as Caleb Sturgis gets the kick. A very long run of over 50 yards and he just goes in. For a very short drive for the Eagles, Caleb Sturgis to make his second field goal of the game right here to end the first half. The kick is up, and it is good with one second left in the half. And it is now halftime. The score, Browns 12, and Eagles stats. We'll get you some halftime stats for both squads in just a second. Third and four for Cleveland. Robert Griffin the third, scrambling. Looking for Corey Coleman, but it's picked off by Nigel Bradham. 
the second interception from the Eagles in the second by a newly acquired player is Branham was signed from the Buffalo Bills. The, line, the young linebacker Nigel Branham with the interception. Second and 13 for the Eagles. Wentz. Over to Ertz. And he breaks the tackle and that's a touchdown for the Eagles. And for the first time today, the lead will belong to the home team. As the Eagles tie, it most likely will take the lead of this game as Zach Ertz breaks Jordan Poyer's tackle and gets the touchdown. Third and six on the 15 for Philadelphia. Wentz. Finds Ruben Randall at the first down and four! There goes Ruben Randall! And he gets brought down at the 11 yard line! A beautiful play from Wentz to Randall! That's a gain of, I believe, 78 yards. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. For Ruben Randall, first down. Here comes out Caleb Sturgis. It's 4 and 4 and a very easy field goal. Even easier than an extra point. And the kick, no surprise, is good. And it's now a four-point game. First and 10 for the Browns. RG3. Looking down the field for Gary Barnett. There goes Garrett Barnett! He breaks two tackles! And he gets the touchdown 82 yards for the veteran tight end Gary Barnett! And the Browns have taken the lead! Travis Coons missed the extra point, but the Eagles fumbled it on the kick return. And it's now Browns' ball as of the first play of this new drive! David Jackson gets all the way to the 11. Second and five. On the five. RG. Over to Rashard Higgins, and he gets his first career touchdown as the Browns have officially taken control of this game. And it's now a two possession game. Second and 10 for Philadelphia. Went. Under pressure. Finds Ruben Randall again, and this time Ruben Randall gets in! 40 yard touchdown, and if the Eagles get the two point conversion, this game is tied up! Of course, they're going for two. Big surprise! Went! Gets sacked on the play by Nate Orchard! And the Browns still have the lead! First and ten on the three yard line. Ryan Matthews finds a hole! And Ryan Matthews was struggling all day! Makes it all the way breaks for Sean Breland's tackle! 97 yard touchdown! And the Eagles take the lead! Ryan Matthews with his 30th career rushing touchdown going for 97 yards! Tamak is breaking Breland's tackle and getting in the end zone. Now my throat hurts. <laughs> Second and 18 for the Browns after the big touchdown by Matthews. Corey Coleman with a big play and it's now third and one. Third and one for the Browns, RG3. Looking for Ricardo Lewis who gets the first down after an awful route by the rookie from Auburn to get his second career catch. First and 10 on the 40 for Cleveland. Griffin. Launching it down the field for Gary Barnett and it's intercepted! This time by Malcolm Jenkins! And the Eagles may have just won this game! Second and ten on the 20. The Browns need 80 yards if they want to win. Over to Coleman, then he fumbles it! And he recovers it, the Eagles do! Both teams had a chance to recover it! But that is how the game ends! And the final score, Eagles 29, Browns 24. The Browns did solid this week, RG3. He threw three picks, but he didn't do too bad. David Johnson was bad. Corey Coleman had a solid game, but choking at the last second. I think the player of the game probably should go to either Ruben Randall or Ryan Matthews. If the player of the game for the Browns is very easy, Emmanuel Ogba, but 2.5 sacks, he dominated, but he did commit 
a lot of penalties. The extra point situation, Travis Coons was over for two, and we missed two two-point conversions. So we scored four touchdowns and went over four on extra points. And we most likely would have lost if we just kicked four extra points on four for four. But that could have that could have had an impact on this game. And the Eagles go 1-0 and the Browns, Doobie Doola, and go 0-1. Peace.